Hey guys, welcome back to my Nicaro Custom Guitars. And this is the CNC Guitar Build Season 2, where I show you my process from design to manufacturing an electric guitar on my CNC. So in this episode, I want to cover the tool pads for the body, exactly the top side of the body blank. Just a little note, at the time of filming, I didn't have the pickups in hand, so the routing of the pickups isn't included in, the, in this video. Maybe I do a little note in the following episode regarding the pickups. Okay, so let's roll the intro and we can begin. Hey guys, welcome back to Fusion 360 and today, as I said in the intro, we're going to have a look at the body blank tool pads, precisely at the top side of the blank. To minimize as much tool changing, I'm going to start clear material with a roughing bit and then switching to another actually switching to a downcut bit to finish up some of the tool paths. So first I will cut the contour of the body. Here I'm using a 3.8 spectra roughing which is an upcut router bit. I'm going down 3 millimeters every cut. And I'm going over 2000 millimeter per minute regarding the feed rate. With the same bit, I'm going to remove material from the neck pocket. This is a pocket operation. Again, removing 3 mm every time and over 2000 mm per minute of feed rate. After that, I can remove material from the contour of the horns, still using the same upcut spiral bit. And after that, I can clear material for the bridge recess. 
and remove the bulk of the material for the excess for the tuners. Now, after all those operations are finished, I can easily switch the cutting bit to a downcut spiral 3 8 same size from, from Spectra, and we can finish up the contour of the body. Same strategy, 3 millimeters every time, and over 2000 millimeters per minute as a feed rate. I have left tabs here, so I can still have the body fixed with the blank, so I won't have any funny surprises when the final cut is finished. After that, I can finish up the pocket of the neck, the same bit, I like to remove material from the side of the pocket this is a little trick that i found to get the perfect fit with the neck and the pocket and i like to remove 0.1 every time in fact here i have 0.1 i have another cut which is 0.2 and another one which is 0.25 but the 0.1 uh, did the trick very well this is to achieve uh, a perfect fit between the neck and the pocket because sometimes maybe the bit will be a little bit worn and the pocket will be a little bit tight so like this i have uh, an accurate method to get uh, the perfect fit And same again for the remaining material of the pocket for the bridge. Here I'm removing 0 0.15, 0 0.2 and even 0.25. This I went with the 0.25 and I switched uh, to a 6mm bit because the corners, the 3.8 bit was to the radius was too much for the corners of the actual bridge. 
So I switched to a 6mm cutter and I remove material slowly until the bridge fits perfectly. Then another tool change and I switched to a quarter inch ball nose and with that ball nose I can finish up the contours of the horns. Here I'm using a one millimeter step over to get a nice finish. Now, with the same bit, I finished up the excess for the tuners, and this was kind of in a two operation procedure. The first one was a parallel operation with the same quarter inch ball nose, and when I was simulating the cut, especially at this point, the if I go to the end, as you can see, the finish isn't really well, it's like a step. So I experimented a bit and I found. I did a pass, which is a contour pass with the same quarter inch ball nose. And this contour pass eliminates these ridges that the previous operation have left. Now, the final part will be the controls, the holes for the pots, the slot and the holes for the lever. Now, for the pots, I went with a 6mm cutter, it's a simple bore operation, and for the lever, it's a contour following the diagram of the slot. And the hose again, it's a bore operation. For the lever, for the switch, I use a 1.5 millimeter cutter. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you're new to this channel and you're enjoying what you see, I invite you to consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be aware about my future releases. And until the next time, take care and goodbye.